Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again. In this video, we are going to install DWM with the SD terminal and D menu directly from the Sackless website. DWM, or the Dynamic Window Manager, is the window manager from Sackless. It's extremely light and extremely fast, so let's get going. So let's get going. Let's boot up the machine by hitting enter. It's gonna take a moment here to boot up. There you go. So we can enter our username and the passwords. And now we are logged in. Now, some of you told me in previous tutorials that the font here on the console is too small. So I'm not gonna use this console too often now, but now for installing the packages and explaining what's going on, I will increase the font size. I already installed here a font called Terminus in the system, and I can use this font here to increase the font size here in this console. So to do this, I will type in set font and then ter dash, and I'm gonna choose the 128 size point and then hit enter. And now it's much bigger, so I think you can see better. So let's clean up the terminal. And let's proceed by installing the packages we need. The first thing, let's make sure that our servers are up to date. So we can type in sudo pacman-syy and hit enter. Enter the sudo password. There you go. And now let's install the packages we need. So let's type in sudo pacman-s. The first package is the display server. Now I'm going to make the installation of DWM very light, so I'm not gonna use the whole XOR group. In this case, I'm gonna install first xorg-server. This is the first component I need. The second component is xorg-xenit because I wanna start DWM with the xenitrc file. And I'm gonna install also xorg-xrender because I want to change actually the resolution of my display once I am in DWM. Probably you don't need to do this, but on a virtual machine where I am right now, I have to. And the next package is going to be also xorg xset root. And I'm going to install also a browser, in my case, Chromium. You can, of course, install Firefox if you prefer that. And I'm going to install also Nitrogen. We're going to use this later for our wallpaper. I'm going to install also a compositor, in my case, PyCon. And now the last package I would install is dmenu. However, you can choose to install dmenu from the Arch repository. It's already there. But in my case, I'm going to install it directly via the Suckless website, as this is also a Suckless package. Again, it's a matter of choice here. To install it from the Suckless website requires a little bit more work because you have to compile the package, but it's more in line with the philosophy of Suckless, and that's why I'm going to do it in this video. However, if you don't want to do that, you can just type in the menu and install that as well if you like to. In my case, I'm just going to hit enter and proceed with the installation. So it's going to take a moment to download and install, and I'll be back in a second. There you go. The packages are installed. Now let's clean up the terminal. And we need to copy first the xnetrc file in the exe directory in our home directory. So let's do that first by typing in copy and then slash etsy slash x11 slash xenit and then xnetrc. And we're going to copy this in our home directory and we are going to call the file dot xinitrc and hit enter. There you go. Let's clean up the terminal and type in ls a. And we'll see we have our xenitrc file in there. So let's open that up. We can type in vim.xenitrc and hit enter. And I'll scroll down here to the end of the file to remove these last five lines. So I'll just delete them up. And there are some options I want to put in my xenitrc file so that they start up when I start also DWM. The first one is my key map. I know that when I start up the window manager, my keyboard layout will not be there. So I rather put this parameter here in the xenitrc file so that when I boot up my window manager, I have already my keyboard layout there. So let me go down here one line and type in a comment and I'll type in keyboard layout. And the command is going to be set xkb map. And the connotation of my keyboard is a ch because I have a Swiss keyboard. And then I'll finish the command with an ampersign. This is important. You'll have to always put the ampersign at the end of the command here. And then I'm going to go down another line. And I'm going to tell also the system to change the display resolution once the window manager starts up. So I'm going to type in, in here display resolution. And the command is going to be x render dash dash output. The display name is virtual one in my case, and then dash dash mode 1920 per 1080, 
and again the ampersign. And since we installed also a compositor, I'm going to put it already in here. So I'll type in here the hashtag and then type in compositor. And the command will be pycom-f and then the ampersign. And in another line, I'll type in here, execute dwm. And the command is exec dwm. Now, in the next video, we're going to put in here also a while loop so that we don't need to actually exit DWM and restart it in order for the changes to take effect. But we will do this, as I said, in the next video. For now, we can just save the file and exit Vim, and we can clean up the terminal. Now, we need to download DWM from the Suckless website. There is a DWM binary in the Arch repository, but again, I'm going to stick here to the Suckless philosophy and just compile it from source. So to download DWM, we need to actually install first wget, which is in the Arch repository. So let's do this by typing in sudo pacman-s and then wget and hit enter. Proceed with installation and wget is installed. Now we can install DWM from the Suckless website with this command wget https equals slash slash dl.suckless.org slash dwm slash dwm dash 6.2.tar.gz so it's a compressed file basically and then we can hit enter there you go the download is complete now let's have a look at the directory by typing in ls and we see we have the compressed file in there so we need to decompress it with this command tar and then dash Exit VF. These are all compression switches. I'm not going to go over them right now. And then our compressed package. So I'll type in D and then tap to autocomplete and hit enter. There you go. The package is now done. So we can clean up the terminal. Type in again ls. And we have our DWM 6.2 directory in there. So let's go in that directory. Let's type in cd and then DWM 6.2 and hit enter. Type in ls. And we have our file in there. Now we need to install DWM. And to do that, we'll type in sudo make clean install and hit enter. And there you go, the installation is basically done. Now we are not finished yet because if we boot up DWM right now, we don't have any terminal available. We could actually install a terminal, for example, the GNOME terminal or the XFC4 terminal, but we have on the Suckless website the ST terminal or the simple terminal. And again, there is a binary on the Arch user repository, but I'm going to install this through the Suckless website again, just to stay in line with the philosophy of Suckless. So let me clean up the terminal and I'll go back here one directory. And let's download the ST terminal by typing in wget and then https colon slash slash dl and then again suckless.org slash st slash st dash zero dot eight dot three dot tar dot gz. So again, a compressed file and then we can hit enter. There you go. The download is finished. So let's type in ls and we have our st compressed file in there so we can clean up the terminal. And now we can type in again tar dash exit vf and then s tab to autocomplete and hit enter. Now let's type in again ls and we have also there our st directory. So let's move in there. Let's type in cd and then st083 and hit enter. Clean up the terminal and we can install it again by typing in sudo make clean install and hit enter. There you go. Now let's clean up the terminal. I'll go back to my home directory and I will type in now startx to start up the window manager. And we are now in DWM. So we have a black background, but the status bar is there. So everything went well. The installation was done correctly. Now the key binding for opening up the ST terminal is Alt Shift Enter. And it works perfectly fine. So let's open up also a few more terminals. And you see here we have this layout with the master on the left side. And we can close the terminal with Alt Shift C. Well, let me first increase the font size. And I'll type it in here, Terminal 1. And I'll open up a new terminal with Alt Shift Enter. And look what happens. The terminal, which was the master, became now the slave. And we have a new master on the left side. 
so for some of you, this might be a little bit confusing. And at first I had also a little trouble to adjust to this behavior. But to be honest with you, now that I could used to it, I actually really like it as I normally tend to open up a new terminal because I need to work on something and I'd rather have more space to open that up than the old terminal. So for me, this is fine. There is a patch on the Sackless website that you can change this behavior, but I just wanted to make you aware of this in case that you haven't noticed it and so that you don't get confused about it. So let's close up this terminal and clean up here the command. Now, the next step is actually to download the menu. And again, I'm going to follow the same procedure as we did before. So I'll type in wget and then https slash slash dl.suckless.org slash tools slash dmenu dash 4.9.tar.gz and hit enter. There you go. Now let's expand the file. So we type in again tar dash x zvf and then d menu. There you go. And hit enter. Now let's clean up the terminal. Type in again ls. And we have there our d menu directory. So let's move in there. Let's type in cd and then d menu 49 and hit enter. And we can install the package by typing in sudo make clean install and hit enter. Enter the sudo password and the package is installed. So we can actually now restart DWN by hitting Alt, Shift and Q. And as you can notice, we are going back to the console. And that's because we don't have the while loop available into the xnetrc file. But we're going to do this in the next video anyway. Now I'm going to start up again DWN by typing in start x and hit enter. And now if I hit Alt P, I have the menu opening up on the top bar. So the installation was successful. So we can escape here by hitting the escape key. And let's give our installation here a nice background, shall we? So let's open up Chromium. So I'll hit Alt P to open up the menu and type in in Chromium and hit enter. And let's look for a wallpaper. So I will type in Japan 4K wallpaper and hit enter. For those of you who don't know, Japan is my favorite country. That's why I'm downloading always wallpaper from there. And I'll select here one of these. Let's go ahead and select maybe this one. And I will download this one right here. So download full resolution. And the photo is in there. So what we need to do now is to open up nitrogen. So again, Alt P and then nitrogen. And hit enter. We go to preferences. Click add to add the directories. And we'll go here to my home directory and select here the downloads directory where actually the photo is downloaded and hit select. Now click OK. The photo is right here, so we can click the photo. And for the apply, I'll go down here and say zoomed fill and click apply. Now we can close up nitrogen by hitting Alt Shift C and I'll close up also the browser and we have there our wallpaper. Now we need to put actually nitrogen also in the xnetrc file, otherwise the wallpaper is lost when we start the machine. So let's open up the terminal. Again, I'll increase the font size. And I will type in vim.xnetrc and hit enter. I'll go down to the end of the file here. And I will insert one line after the compositor, right so. And again, I'm going to put a comment here and I will put in wallpaper. And the command is going to be nitrogen dash dash restore. And again, our ampersand. And then we can save the file and exit Vim. Now let's try it out. Let's try to quit DWM by hitting Alt Shift Q. And I'll type in again start X and hit enter. And our wallpaper is there and working. So let's open up a terminal and I'll open up another one. And so let's have a look a little bit at the navigation in DWM. You can see there on the top left corner, we have numbers from one to nine. These are called tags. It's corresponding to workspaces in other window manager. And we can move through these tags by hitting the mod key and the corresponding number. So by default, the mod key in DWM is the alt key, but you can change this to the windows key. I'm going to show you this in a second. For now, I'm just going to hit alt two to move to the second tag. And of course it is empty. But you see on the number one, there is a small square on the top left side. And that means there is a window open there. And that's the terminal we have. We can move back there with Alt-1. And that's how you can move through workspaces. Now let me type in in this terminal, Terminal-1. And let's say you want to move this Terminal-1 on the second workspace. So we're going to hit Alt-Shift and then the number of the tag you want to select. In my case, I want to move it to the second one. So I'll just hit number two. And as you can see now, the terminal disappeared. And if we go now to the tag number two, it's there waiting for us. 
if you want to bring it back to the first tag, we just hit Alt, Shift, and then number one. And we go back to the first tag. And now we have again our two windows there. To resize the windows, you hit the Mod key and the L key to resize it on the right, and the H key to resize it back. And if I keep hitting H, it's going to resize the other way around. And hitting L is going to resize the other way around. Now let's close up this terminal. And I'll increase the font size here. And let's change to the DWM directory. So let's type in CD and then DWM and hit enter. And let's type in Vim and then config.dev.h and hit enter. So this is one of the configuration files in your DWM installation. And we're going to get deeper on this file in later videos. For now, what I wanted to show you, it's how you can change the mod key. I know many people like actually to have the Windows key, or if you have an Apple keyboard, the command key as a mod key. And as I said, by default, DWM mod key is the alt key. So to do this, we can type in here in the search box mod key, and I can see it already there. So I can hit enter here. And what we have up here in this line, it's the key definitions. So right now it's mod key mod one mask. That's the alt key. Mod one corresponds to the alt key. If you want to change this to the Windows key, you will have to replace this one with four. And then I'm going to save the file and exit Vim. And now let's restart DWM. I'm just going to hit Alt Shift Q and again type in start X and hit enter. Now, if I hit the Windows key Shift and enter, the terminal should open, but it does not. The terminal is still under the old command. So let me open up the terminal with Alt Shift Enter. And again, I'll increase the font size here. And let's change to the DWM directory. So I'll type in CD and then DWM. And I'll type in LS. And as you can see here, we have the config.dev file, but we have also the config.h file. This file is actually the configuration file that DWM actually reads. The thing is we modified this one because when you will be applying patches, most of those will actually apply to this file. So we make the modifications here, but then we have to port them into the configuration file for DWM to be read. So to do this, what we can do, we can basically copy this file and give it this name to overwrite it. Now let me type in ls-al and hit enter. And let's have a look at these two files. So as you can see, the config.dev file belongs to me as this is my username and my group name, but the config.h file belongs to the root user. Now you can change actually the ownership of the file if you want to, but I rather not do this just in case that something goes wrong. I'm always reminded that I need to enter the sudo password. So to copy this file into this one, I need to use the sudo command. And so I'll type in sudo cp config.dev.h and then config.h and hit enter. Enter the sudo password and there you go. Now let's clean up the terminal and let's type in sudo make clean install and hit enter. And now we need to exit again DWM for the changes to take effect. So I'll hit Alt Shift Q and start X again. And now if I hit the Windows key, Shift and enter, my terminal is working fine. And that's going to do it for this tutorial. In the next video, we are going to put the while loop into the xnetrc file so that we don't have to exit every time DWM for the changes to take effect. And depending on how long the video goes, we might have to make a third video where I will show you how you can patch DWM and also customize a little bit the tags and the status bar as well. There you go for the basic installation of DWM. In upcoming videos, we are going to go more in depth about the status bar, the tags, and also the patches for DWM. So stay tuned for that. I hope you liked the video, guys. If you did, please hit the like button below and subs to the channel if you haven't already. Subs always helps us out. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so by visiting our Patreon website or you can donate via PayPal through our website as well. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.